How's it going, everybody? My name's Anthony. Welcome to my channel, my page, wherever you're watching this, YouTube, TikTok. I, I, either way, thanks for joining me. If you're new here and if you're a returning uh, viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Thanks for uh, just coming to hang out. I really hope you're enjoying the spooky season. Uh, October's coming and going, I tell you. It's already halfway through October as of recording this. There's still so many movies I want to see and so many things that I've wanted to talk about. Uh, segwaying from that, I've been doing 31 Days of Horror Comedy. If you enjoy that subgenre of uh, in terms of uh, just wonderful movies that are just... They, they give you a few fun scares and some laughs. I've been talking about a lot of my favorites and some newer uh, films that I've seen recently that are in the subgenre, and I've been doing that on Instagram, and, uh, if you want to check that out, I know, I know, I know, it's hard to push the buttons and the links and the bios and whatnot, I know, but if you want to check that out, or follow me on Letterboxd, it's all the same handles right here, uh, if you want to do that, I would appreciate it so much, if not, either way, thank you for joining me here today, and I want to showcase all these awesome horror films or horror-adjacent films that I've picked up recently, there's a good amount, so yeah, grab a snack, grab your favorite beverage, and relax, and let's get to it. I'm going to go through the blind buys, because, you know, it's not much to say other than I, I hope that they are good, <laughs> and that's not much to really say other than I hope they're good. So, anyways, let's start off with Freaks of Nature. It seems like a pretty fun ensemble cast of a horror flick. Uh, it looks fun. Um, a lot of great actors in there. Uh, next up is The Final Girls. I've heard good things about this one. It's a fun, like, meta, like, throwback, as well as a meta-type film, kind of like Scream. So, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. This one could either be, uh, horrible, horrible 2000s cheesiness, or it could be really fun 2000s cheesiness, and that is Killer Movie, uh, starring Kaylee Cuoco, and I, I, I don't know. I've never heard of this film, but I saw it at my local video store, and I was just like, sure. And speaking of uh, cheesiness, <laughs> strippers versus werewolves, uh, Robert England is in this for some reason. Next up is the Shudder original Scare Me, starring Aya Cash uh, from The Boys and uh, Chris Red from SNL. So uh, this looks like a fun spin on the cabin horror film. I, I don't... I haven't heard much on it at all, but I, uh, again, saw it in my local video store, and I'm just like, yeah, sure, that, that could be fun. I didn't know Jackie Chan was in a horror film. Uh, I don't know if this is really horror or if it's looks more like an action horror film, like Blade, but it could be fun, and that is Vampire Effect. I, I don't know who these actresses are. I've never heard of them before, but again, I was just kind of dumbfounded in, in seeing this in my local half Price books, and I'm just like, again, I hope it's fun. And the last of the blind buys, we got Happy Halloween Scooby-Doo. A nice Scooby-Doo film is always fun to watch during the Halloween season. I am always, of course, appreciative of Zombie Island and Witch's Ghost myself. But uh, last year I watched Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo. I think that was the name of the movie. And that was a lot of fun. So this one looks pretty great, too. I, I You got Elvira. You got Bill Nye for some reason in this, apparently. I hope it's a good time. I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan, so... Alrighty, and now we'll dive into the movies that are just some classics to me, or some uh, newer films, a uh, little bit of everything in this stack. But these are movies that I have seen or grew up with, so first up, Casper. You know, this film has its charm. I remember it enough, seeing it enough as a kid, and uh, it's been a very long time since I've watched it, to be honest. But you have a great cast, you have some fun visual effects, there was a lot of... Uh, interesting humor moments in this uh, yeah it's some of it could be creepy these days but i'm looking for, i'm looking forward to revisiting it i remember it being pretty fun growing up as a kid watching casper movies there was a bunch of them between this uh a spirited beginning haunted christmas there was a lot of casper in the late 90s and early 2000s next up is more of a horror thriller i guess and that is black swan this is a beautiful awesome packaging from uh, exclusive to target uh, years back. I don't know if they'll ever make movies like this on 4K. That's the shitty part about Disney taking over the world and uh, Fox titles probably never seen the light of day unless they're like hugely popular or there's like a remake or a sequel coming out. But I'd like, I, I don't see this happening unless like a distributor like Scream Factory or Arrow picks this up. 
I don't see a 4K release happening anytime soon, but it is a great film. Natalie Portman uh, deserved all the accolades she got for this. I remember seeing this in theaters and just being wowed by this. This was a blind buy, but I actually um, uh, already watched this. <laughs> and that is Vicious Fun. I, another Shudder original. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I felt like it took a little bit to get going, but it was a lot of fun. I I feel like uh, the duo here, I'm, I'm blanking on their names. But they were fun to watch, their friendship and trying to survive against uh, um, serial killers and things. It got very bloody, very fast. Uh, it was a fun watch. I enjoyed it. It's 20 years, which is still... I can't believe that. 20 years for this film. Shaun of the Dead. Slip is minty. I, I, I couldn't have been happier. I know there is a 20th re-release coming out soon, like a steelbook. And I just didn't care for the artwork. I'm sorry. I, I know some people are looking forward to that. This artwork is iconic to me. I like the simplisticness to it. I like everything about it. And I just, I I saw it there at my, at my video store. And I'm just like, yep, this is going home with me. I, I know there's that re-release coming, but I, I, I had to have it. I had to have it in my collections. And the last two titles. Got a double feature of Alvin and the Chipmunks. These are really underrated. I, I feel like even when they got released in the early 2000s, uh, I feel like nobody talked about these because I think by then Alvin and the Chipmunks was really running its course. And the fact that Alvin and the Chipmunks was owned by Universal at the time uh, and having Universal monsters, like they actually have these like based within the realm of universal horror that is amazing to me and i enjoyed these as a kid and i cannot wait to revisit these i remember them very vividly they were very much a lot of fun uh similar in the vein of like scooby-doo movies and i'm looking forward to re-watching these again and then of course speaking of scooby-doo the last title would be 13 ghosts of scooby-doo i have not i have not watched this show in many many years of course it was infamous that it never got a proper ending it only had one season i heard there was a movie i don't know if the movie was good i heard nothing about it it just kind of came and went i need to seek that one out despite if it's good or bad uh let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed some of these movies that i showcased today or if you uh, let me know some of your favorites that you like to watch every every october uh and i'd love to read some of your recommendations or just what you enjoy. So thanks for watching. Take care and be kind.